Let me tell the funniest story when I work. I got two. So the first one is I got me and my two. sister. I get I guess we was fight <laughs> I guess we was like fighting in public or something. And my mother was like, Oh, y'all gonna get it when y'all get home. And when your mother says that, you are on edge from when you the moment you leave from where you was fucking up till you got home. So you're like you open trip for good. Man, what? You be like the oldest trick in the book would be taking a nap in the car, and he was like, "Oh, he looks so cute, so I'm not gonna beat him when we get home." But sometimes, depending on how bad you fucked up, that shit don't work. <laughs> so we get home, and my and my mother looks at me and my sister with like the most evil look. She's like, "Get upstairs now." So I don't understand why the fuck parents give kids the ultimatum of who wants to go first. And you already know, no one's not good. Like, no sibling is going to be like, our volunteer is tribute. No, we're going to point at the other sibling like, oh, no, he wants to go. No, she wants to go. So my mother beats my sister first. And my sister fucks up by trying to run. And my folks have, my folks have a big ass tall bed. So my sister tries to go under the bed. My mother pulls a scorpion loose, grabs her by the ankle, says, Get over here! Literally <laughs> yanks her from underneath the bed. And she is wailing on my little sister. So I'm just sitting there in shock and on the brink of bursting into tears. Like, you know, when you, like, you have a big ass water balloon and you pop it and all the water just like splashes out? I'm on the brink of those type of tears. So my sister's crying. Like crying or um, laughing crying? No, crying, like crying as in scared as shit. So my sister takes off and runs in her room because, you know, the ordeal in black households. You get an ass whooping, you go down for a nap. So I'm sitting there crying, and my mother's like, what the hell are you crying for? And I said it just like this, and I quote, I'm crying because I'm next. <laughs> so that shit was, oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> and then the second one... Again, me and my sister was fucking up in public. And I'm at home just chill. I mean, I'm not at home chilling. We're on the way home chilling. And I'm in the back of my mind like, yo, we about to get our ass whooped. So my mother gets out of the car, and she goes in the house first. I guess me and my sister was getting something out of the car. I remember we getting ass whooped. So I let my little sister walk in the house first. And I walk in behind her. My, si my little sister was bigger than me in, like, width. So she walks in, and there's like a hallway, and then like in the hallway, there's like two walls on each side, the left and right. So my sister walks forward. All I see is like this black shadow swing in front of my sister. It's like, I was like, what the fuck? I was like, oh yeah, we about to get a whooping. So the garage door is behind us, and my sister run towards me, and I'm shielded behind her because you know she's bigger than me and with. So my mother is wailing on my sister, and I'm over here like, let me hurry up and get, let me get hit. So I can go ahead and start crying so I can act like I got hit as well. So my mother catches my pinky and I just like I swear I should have been a child star. Because I decided to cry a little bit to make it feel like I felt it and I was like, Y'all get upstairs. I get in my room, I'm cheesing like shit like it's Christmas and I got the best gift ever. I'm like, oh yeah, I ain't get a whooping. I barely got hit. Oh, I'm safe. Oh, I'm safe. So I that that was like the second time in my life where I was like, damn, I almost feel bad. Oh well, fuck it. But that was those are the, like the two wildest ass weapons. That in between the time I got hit in the crotch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm drinking. I'm oh, drinking. Stop, stop, stop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> stop I got it. Are you done? Are you done? You know, you know one time. Okay, so the lesson <laughs> is the lesson from this story is I'll lose this to your mom. So me <laughs> and my sister are we're down and we're running around the house, right? Yeah. And, uh, and my mom's like, y'all better quit it before y'all get hurt. I'm like, sure we're not going to get hurt. And I was chasing her. Huge mistake. Well, you know, we have a, a love seat. And right after the love seat, the table. I <laughs> tripped. I, like, stubbed my toes into the love seat. 
came halfway over that and went throat first on the edge of a table. And I thought I died. God damn. I, I thought I was, like, I was suffocating. My mom came there and she, <laughs> she thought my sister shoved me off in the table. She's like, what did you do? What did you do? <laughs> She's like, you did not. She's like, I didn't do nothing. I didn't do nothing. <laughs> And she's like asking me questions about some chance of yelling at my sister, and I can't talk. <laughs> I've just been basically throat punched by an immovable object. sister and my mom uh <laughs> we there was only three rooms so me and my sister had to share one and we had bunk beds but she uh -oh. got the top okay. bunk and Jealous. I got the bottom one day she used to be like very like territorial basically and I got up on her like at the top and she started yelling for me to get down from there and she was like on the ground and I kept telling her to no and then <laughs> She, I didn't see her, and I thought she said, uh, she said, I'm going to go tell mom. And I go to look down, and the side railings wasn't on that good. And the side railing falls off the thingy with oh, boy. And, and you <laughs> think I hit the ground? I didn't hit the ground. I went face first into a fan, then hit the ground. And I, I thought I got knocked out for a second. I was sitting there like, what just happened? <laughs> Did like John Cena just come in and like five finger shuffle me through the like the ground or something? Like what's going on? God <laughs> damn! And my mom comes in there and she starts guess who she blames? You? My sister. <laughs> damn! <laughs> and, but she, you want to know why? One time why? she was spinning me around a chair in an office chair. And my mom told her, again, always listen to your mom. My mom told her to stop. Well, when she was trying to push me, like, around in a circle, like, I was spinning, well, she kind of shut. And I went face oh. first into the corner of a desk. And I cut my, like, above my eyebrow. Oh, and, son, inches and away And my from sister your was eyes. freaking out. And my mom just picked me up and threw me over her shoulder. And she just got in the car and drove all the way to the hospital. Which, there's no hospital here. She had to drive half an hour away to get to her. God damn. Dude. That is terrible. That's, well, that's why she always blames my sister. <laughs> is that why your sister, you and your sister got into an argument the first time I met you and you were like, At least I'll drive a Prius. No, that wasn't an argument. <laughs> that was a daily talk. Like, oh, if we okay. talk, that's how we talk. And you're like, that's how we communicate. Now we argue all the time. We used to argue about everything. But now we're just like, but I want, but I want to eat it. No. You get the seconds. <laughs> oh my god. Bro, I feel like to participate. I will just to participate. So, uh, <laughs> this is a good one, right? I slapped my friend's foot. <laughs> oh, that's a daily for me. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, shit. But uh, um, we one time I went with a, my, my best friend. I known him for like how many years? Is it? 
It's been like seven years I've known this guy, right? And <laughs> oh my god. So I went on a thing with his like youth group to a bowling alley. And I was gonna spend the weekend with him. And at this bowling alley, you know how they have like these little call games and stuff? Well, one of them was all rubber ducks, like the small one. And I, I got a rubber duck. And that night, I thought the brightest idea at 2 a.m. to go over to his bed and yeet this duck as hard as I can at it. And you probably think <laughs> it don't hurt. It feels like getting hit with a rubber bullet. It hurts. And I, I was like laughing so hard. And he got up and came where I was sleeping. And he pelted me with it. He kept picking it up. And I was like, stop! Stop! And his mom was like, what are you doing? I was like, nothing. <laughs> and as soon as she went back down, I grabbed it. And I grabbed some other stuff that was like rubber. And I was like, hey, his name's Jacob. I was like, Jacob. And he's like, what? And I threw everything at him. <laughs> And I, I, we woke up with bruises. Like it's looked like we just came from a fight club. Like, it was crazy. Well, that was one of the dumber things I've done. <laughs> I'm not proud of what you did. <laughs> one time we had a party at his house, and I was hide and seek, and he has a bunch of property. And his youth group, like a bunch of people, came over this bus. It was just a party, you know. And uh, me and his brother hid in the bus. And his, I, I, from this, to this day, I knew his brother sold me out because they, they gave me the worst lie of my life. They said, "Oh, we sold your feet." I was in the seat, my guy. My feet weren't hanging. And we hid in the bus for like ever. And I was, I was like basically the guy who was spotting, right? And I'd see him come by, and be like, get down, get down. And we'd get down, we were just talking about random crap. All of a sudden, I was looking, and one of them was walking by, and they stopped. I'm like, stop. So like, what do you mean they stopped? Like, I don't know. All of a sudden, they look at the bus. I'm like, there's no way she knows we're in here. She starts walking this way. I'm like, oh, my God. And on the back of this bus is a trailer. It's not a big bus. It's like old small ones. And there's a trailer. You want that stone rod on? Yeah, the special ed buses. Okay. There was a trailer on it. <laughs> And and I was gonna try to open up the emergency door in the back to get out. And all of a sudden, I go to get that door, and I see another one coming from the back. I'm like, oh my god. And at that moment, I realized you can't open the emergency door because the trailer's in the way. And they try and open it, and they crack it open, and they shine a flashlight in there. And I was like, it's the you know like a regular school bus. It's like the emergency door, and then those yeah. two seats right next to it in the back. I was yeah. on the seat on the right in the back. I'm like, this is it. <laughs> And they close it. I was like, oh my god. All, All of a sudden, they walk in, and, uh, and his brother had the bright idea to hide next to the driver's seat. I'm like, don't hide there. And they saw him. And as soon as I, he's like, oh, you got me. There was a 30 second silence. All of a sudden, I just see the flashlight coming towards my way. He's like, I see you back there. I said, no. And I was like, I know you're in the back seat. I see your feet. And I was look, ah, my feet was it down. And I just came out. And I gave him that stink out the whole night. <laughs> like, you motherfucker, you sold me you out. One time we had a nerf war, I tripped somebody. <laughs> it was, was going to be an airsoft war, but we didn't, there was too many, like, a lot of people didn't want to do an airsoft war. I was like, whatever. And I went in full, I was, a, I was the only smart one there. I went there in full camo, and I hid in the woods. And there was a trail, that I, and I was sitting on the side of the trail. And for some reason, we thought it'd be me and our older friend versus everybody there. So it's the 2v12, right? Damn. I'm sitting there, and I cover myself up in leaves, and I cover my gun. It's a Nerf gun. It's bright coon and orange. I'm sitting there, I'm hiding it, and my friend was behind this, like, this bush. And one of them came around, and he goes, ha ha. All of a sudden, he pulls the trigger, and you just heard this terrible noise. All of a sudden, he gets shot in the forehead, and ter comes to find out. Now, you know when you pull like the trigger of a nerf gun, there's that spring in there that shoots the dart out? Yeah. Like that. It snapped in half. <laughs> oh. One more card. So I'm sitting there, and I forgot that I already shot at somebody. I have three nerf darts. And there's five of them. I thought, 
Connor gets dropped on it. And I yeah, stood on it. I, I, I yelled something, and I shot it. I shot the first one, I shot the second one, and then I tried to pull the trigger, and it jammed. Mm. I'm sitting there. At that moment, Trother, I could sit there and get pelted by darts or run for my life. I ran. <laughs> this thing is about. This thing, this trial is like a quarter mile. I'm running this whole thing and they're chasing me. I get to the road and go on the other side and hit the ditch. And I'm sitting there and it's wet. Like, I'm covered in mud. And I'm sitting there and they pass me and I go back to that spot and I realized I got one dart luck. I'm like, I'm dead. So I sneak back to like this this golden right, sitting there, and my friend there who got out, he's sitting there. I'm like, what happened? And he took it, he showed me, and it snapped in half. I'm like, you got any more darts? He goes, no. All of a sudden, I hear behind me the door open, and then you know what I felt next? I felt those jumbo steroid-looking darts just hit me in the back of the head. Wait, you talking about the red one? Uh huh. Oh yeah, they got the fucking uh. Mega class Nerf guns. <laughs> and it was a sniper rifle. That sucker oh, hurt. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Got an I think it's gonna be like running. a wind blowing. No. So I miss my Nerf days. Them shit just be fun. I used to have a Nerf gun in the basement. I'd be shooting it's motherfuckers whenever they came downstairs. I remember one time I, I hit just... my girl in the eye. I felt so bad. I like she was mad, that she you was can mad at me for like half of the night. She was like, see, that's what you get. Like, you shouldn't have been fucking around with that nerf gun. I'm mad at you. I'm like, babe, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Like, no. I'm like, babe, I'm sorry. It was a nerf gun. I'm just glad it wasn't uh, an airsoft gun. If it was an airsoft gun, you'd be single. I'm like, babe, I'm sorry. I'm going to be kissing I'm sorry. I love you. I love you. Like, I felt hella bad until this day. Whenever I have a nerf gun, I don't hit. I don't even aim at my girlfriend. I want to kill you guys. Nigga, I like my life. It's 11. <laughs> Have you ever been to like a friend's party and you got so bored you just start making up dumb crap to do? One more card? No.